Hello and welcome. Welcome back to those of you that watched the first half of this example. If you're just joining us, I think you'll be able to follow along. So like, so much did you understand that this is a list box and this list box has 49 states in it. And this, so what my first half of this example, uh, we had this list box here and when the user entered some text here and clicked add state, it added that state to the end of the list. So if you wanna look at what we did, here's what we did. Pretty basic. Um, we just called a sub called add state, passed it whatever the user entered, and it added it to the end of the list. For this example, I'm going to create a new button, and I'm going to give that button a name like button del, and the text of that button is going to be delete. So what's going to happen is when the user clicks this button, I'm going to delete the last state from the list. Right, I don't really know why you would do that, but it makes oh, it's a, we've got some data, so let's do some interesting things with it. So basically, I'm going to define what happens when this button's clicked. So if I double click the button, you can see that I haven't gotten anywhere yet. I could delete the last state right here, but instead I want to achieve that through calling a sub. And I want to call that sub delete state. So now we get to the part where we're defining the parameters. <clears throat> so do we have any parameters? When we were adding a state, we had a parameter, which was a string. And so since this is going to delete the last state, there's other ways we could set this up, like maybe it would delete a state that you told it to delete. That's not what this is going to do. It's going to delete the last state. So I'm going to say that we don't need to pass it any parameters. So think about that. I know people are always having a hard time thinking, well, would you ever write a sub that doesn't have any parameters? Well, we just did. Uh, so you're gonna delete the last state in the list. In order to delete the last state, it's a little more difficult than it sounds like because you have to know how big is the list box in the first place, right? A list box could hold one thing, it have zero things, or it could have a million things. Furthermore, that list box could be changing, right? When we were using add state, the list box might start off at 50, but pretty quickly it becomes 51. So this is a dynamic thing. So we have to dynamically fetch the size. And so if I want to do that, there's easier ways, but I'm going to just create a variable and I'm going to call it size. And a good type would be, we usually use doubles, but I'm going to say an integer is going to work here. If you think about how big is a list box, it's not fractional, right? There's not three and a half things in a list box. There might be 50, there might be 51, but there's not 50 and a half. So, I create a variable called size. This is a warning that I haven't used size. I'm going to use size. And so the statement I can use to get that is I need to know the size or the name of my list box. It's called list states. That's why I always use the three letter prefix in case I forget the name. And then it's items dot count. And what that's going to do is it's going to set my variable to the number of items in the list. This brings up a very important point let's say that there are 50 states in my list. So if I write list states dot items dot count, that is gonna be 50. So say there's 50 things in that list. But the thing you need to understand and remember is that when computers count, they start at zero. You know, we start at one, but they start at zero. So if I wanna delete the last thing in that list, I wanna delete spot 49, right? Cause that's how you reference. Uh, it's not unlike an array. Um, so I want to delete spot 49 and if I try to delete what's in spot 50 it is certainly going to crash on me and I'm going to skip the part where that happens. If you don't believe me go ahead and try it. Try deleting something from a list box that isn't there. So if I want to remove the last state now I can achieve this through a statement something like this. The states dot items dot remove and notice I've got remove and I've got remove at remove would serve the purpose of removing a particular state I want to remove whatever's last and I don't and I don't care what it is right it's whatever's last and that could change so I need to pass it a, a spot and so like I said we actually we needed to figure out how big our list box was and size represents that but really I want to get I want to remove the thing at size minus one that is going to get rid of the last thing in our list. If I just do size, my program will crash, and that's that's a promise. I don't like crashing things more than I have to because I do it already. So I'm telling you that this is probably gonna work right here, but we've never called it. So 
notice that as soon as I start uh, typing, my sub is visible in the list and it, I'm passing it nothing, it accepts nothing. This should work. So I'm gonna go to run my program. Notice that Texas is the last state. When I click delete, there goes Texas. Uh, just to do a little more housekeeping. So I'm gonna delete Montana this time. That means Connecticut should be at the bottom of the list. And it seems to be behaving as expected. So if you didn't believe me when I said that thing about the last thing in the list is actually size minus one, uh, hopefully you believe me now. So if you wanna just look at my code, that is what it looked like. All right, so notice we've used subroutine to add something to a list and to delete something from a list. Uh, there's all kinds of other uses, but those are those are two, right? So in my next videos, I will talk about more of the uh, tricky situations you run into with functions and subs. Thanks for watching.